So today we have a gray uh, security camera. Right now it's tracking me as you see in the screen. So what we have in the channel today in Media Box TNT Menina. Today we have home security camera for babies, elder, nanny monitor with motion tracking. It yes. It has two ways audio. It works with Alexa and Google Home as well. Yes. So Menina, let's begin now. How are we doing everyone? This is Dario from Media Box ENT and today we have this wonderful camera. Now this camera is a uh, Wi-Fi and also supports Ethernet cable. As you see right now the camera has auto tracking so the camera will track wherever that go it will follow me. If I move there we see the stance of the camera moving so that's a real plus thing in the camera. Now, to config this, it took me about 30 seconds. We're going to go over anyway because it's simple and easy to do, painless. But let me show you some of the details on this camera. I'm going to unplug it for now so I can show you. Now, we look in the camera first. So this rotates 350 degrees and we'll go, go vertical 110 degrees. Now, right in the front, we have the night vision, the camera, Right over here, we have the mic. Uh, this is a reserve button. It can be used for uh, many things. Right now, it's using like a bell. You press it, in, and my phone sends a signal like a bell. I guess it can be used for something else. It depends on the update of the software. Here we have the LED light, let you know if you are connected on the network or not. Right in the back, we do have the speaker. It's a little less than one watt. And right in the back, we have the reset button. So you reset the camera from uh, zero, like a manufacturer. Right over here, we can put a micro SD card, 128 gig, Ethernet cable, right? If you want, it's wireless anyway, and a five volt. What else we get in the box? 110 power supply. To mount it right on the wall. The screws, the power cable, and again, you now to mount it, they have uh, all the different directions around right the wall and the manual. Pretty simple to do that. Now, when you're going to install this, the first thing you need to do is download the application. It's pretty simple. What you're going to do is scan the RQ code, either with an Android phone or iOS device, scan it, or you can search for the application right, right in the store. And also, comes with the box right there. You can scan the box as well. And then you install the camera, and I'll show you that in a second. Then it's simple and easy to control the camera. So let's go over that now. Now, another nice thing too, the camera can go in private mode. So when it goes in private mode, rotates in the top and it stays covered with this. So if you feel the big, uh, big brother is watching you. So I'm gonna reset the camera. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna press this button here. Gonna wait a little bit, should wait a few seconds, let me see. That's it. So the camera is reset. Should start blinking now. So it's red. Let's put this to the front. Anyway, it's going to rotate automatically when it's reset. So now the camera is reset. And the nice thing too, one, you install the camera for the first time. If it's uh, an upgrade, a firmware, it will let you know. My case already upgraded. So we are in the main application. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to press plus and what do we have? Lighting, security, sensor, security. We see the little icon there uh, for a smart camera. Now, what I'm going to do, and make sure this, they said it, make sure this uh, blinking, it is blinking just like a switch, right? If you did it in a smart switch, it's the same idea. So, right there. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cl click next. Now, very important. You see how it happened? I'm at 5 gigahertz, so I need to switch the network. So, I'm going to change the network. And we're going to be going into the 2.4. All right. So make sure you know your password of the 2.4. One month connected there. Make sure you shut the data off. So the password is already in of my own network. It will be your network. So when it's done, I'm going to click confirm. Between 15 to 20 centimeters. About this. Maybe like 5 inches. So I'm going to click confirm. And you're going to be in our queue code. So I'm going to put it right over here. And we wait. 
it's done. You see how simple is that? I hear the prompt, so I'm gonna confirm, and we wait, and it should go real fast. Painless, do you see that? Done. You can call it whatever you want. For me, let's leave it the smart uh, camera. Done. The camera is resetting. If you see now, it keeps rotating. All right. No, the other way around. The other way. Yes, bring it up. You see that? It only took what? Maybe 30 seconds to do that. The rest is pretty simple. Now it's already done. And by the way, uh, here we can play message. So if you put the memory and the camera detects any movements, it will automatically record and you can review it later on. Remember the camera will send you a message if you want it in your phone, but if you're not around, it will record right in your, uh, in your camera. You can always go and review it and play it from your phone right from the camera. You can activate an ignition. You can activate the private mode. When you're home, you don't want the camera to be watching you, so you can turn that off. We can record in the phone. We can take a picture. So if you get a message, you feel there's something wrong, you can start recording right in your phone there too. Uh, we can turn on the speaker if you want. We can talk to the camera. It's about a watt, less than one watt of power. We can activate uh, motion tracker and enable patrol. Patrol will automatic rotate 250 degrees and go in every corner. It stays about, I think, 10 seconds and it stays there 10 seconds and moves and moves and, and it will cover the whole entire apartment or whatever location you have the camera. That's a real nice thing too. And then from settings, settings, we can change your name, we can change the location, bedroom, outdoor, whatever, and information device, IP address, all that. The nice thing, you can control with Google and Alexa, and in, and in case Alexa, you have to put the smart skills. Now the security alarm level, that's nice. You can set it low, high, depends. So if you want pet, maybe you want to put it low and only detect a full body, you can do that too, or you can detect the pet if you want that too. And you can set the schedule. You can set the cameras on during the day, and it's off uh, during the night. So the camera is already set. And if you need more information or how to get this camera, check the link below. Thank you.